and get your kiss on. All right, what's up, my quesadillas? Today's a pretty big day. I'm gonna be going to an American football game with Japanese people playing. So a Japanese quesadilla that lives in Yokohama, she's a college student, she's the manager of the American football team, of the school that she goes to. She invited me to her game today. Honestly, if I get offered to do anything here, I'm gonna go, I need stuff to vlog. I'm gonna go meet up with her in Shibuya first. Oh shit, what the fuck? But yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with Shibuya. Oh, what the fuck? But yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with her in Shibuya. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, sorry, I'm gonna go meet up with her in Shibuya. Oh, shit. oh my god, geez, so much stuff here anyway gonna go meet up with her and shibuya we're gonna go get some coffee first or something so yeah it should be fun got some ice cream to start off my morning because that's the healthiest breakfast there is this stuff is real good though it's like ice cream in this little pack you just squeeze it out and suck really hard ladies you know what that's like all right right now we're in shibuya i'm with my friend tamago Tama oh tamao my bad my bad tamago is like egg. her name's tamao and she's a g so put that together she's tamago she's an egg basically anyway we're going to a coffee shop right now yeah just gonna talk for a little bit and then we're gonna go to the game after. We're at the cafe. I just got a banana shake. Nani kata? She got a caramel shake. We just got some taco rice. Gonna get our daily dose of Mexico. Okay, so I finished hanging out with Tamao. I live streamed around Shibuya for a little bit. Halfway during the live stream, these quesadillas right here, Sydney and Yuya, they tracked me down on the live stream, found me, and now we're hanging out. Yeah, we're at this beautiful park. Yo, Yogi Park. We're just having a peaceful time. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. Hey, hey, let's get it. Hey. It's lit. All right, so I split up with you, Yai, and Sydney. I'm in Chofu right now. About to head to the football game. It's going to start like in 15 minutes. I got some fried chicken at the 7 Eleven. I also got more of this coolish ice cream. I think this is the start of a new addiction. All right, what's up? I'm at the football field right now. We're all sitting on the bleachers right now. The teams are huddling up. Tama was like managing somewhere else. I don't know where she is, but Japanese are so extra sometimes. They gave me this cheering napkin and this megaphone thing. This is the Yokohama National University team. That's Tokyo Gakuge University. So those cheering napkins were actually like inflatable stick things that you hit together to cheer with. So I'm walking home now. I didn't feel much because I was just enjoying the moment, enjoying the game. It was actually pretty high. A lot of cool plays, touchdowns. I really felt at home, you know, because it's American football, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's all cheering in unison, all the parents and everything. A lot of cool plays, a lot of cool moves, a lot of cool maneuvers. We ended up winning by like at least three touchdowns or something like that. I talked to Tamao for a little bit and yeah, I left. All right, what's up, my quesadillas? Right now I'm going to go to Shibuya. I'm going to go hang out with the quesadilla. She DM'd me saying, hey, I'm in Shibuya right now. Come through. So I'm on my way to Shibuya right now. I wanted a croissant though. I wanted a croissant though, so I got myself a croissant. Felt kind of bad just buying myself a croissant though, so I bought. I felt kind of bad just. I felt kind of bad though just buying myself a croissant, so I bought her a donut too. I just realized I don't know this quesadilla's name. I think her name's like Azusa. Alright, what's up? So, hey, you want to introduce yourself real quick? Oh, hi, I'm Bianca. So we just met up where should we are right now and we're gonna go to Hooters because we want to check out the Japanese Hooters If you guys don't know Hooters is very popular for the chicken wings and the chicken breasts if you know what I'm saying And Japanese girls tend to be flat chicken breasted So I'm kind of interested to see how the Japanese Hooters is it's gonna be lots of stuffing like Thanksgiving Yeah, this should be fun. Let's go Trying to go to the fourth floor and uh, this literally just ends. Are we stuck? Wait, we're actually so oh, okay. There's a way this way <laughs> Oh, that's a mirror. What the crap? Wait a second. This escalator goes down. This escalator goes up to a ceiling. Where are we supposed to go? The only way out is through here. So I guess we got to go through here. Okay, so we're on the fourth floor. I don't see any Hooters, though. I see a poster of Hooters. I see some Hooters right there. Hmm, where is Hooters, though? I don't know. We'll find it, though. This is a journey we got to make. 
So we were waiting for like 15 minutes, but we finally got to the Hooters. What do you think? It's interesting. There's a lot of Americans here. I'm not a perv or anything, but like I've been inspecting the waitress's chicken breasts just for scientific purposes, for just statistical research, right? Maybe not as much as in America, but it's it's like the Japanese size chicken breast. There's still chicken breasts though, but you know what they say? It's always bigger in America, so America's just big, all right? This is the waiter. Do you want to introduce yourself? Chico uh, Shokai. Hi, I'm Mana. Yeah, this is Mana. This is Mana, our really nice waitress hooter. Hooter waitress, so. Thank you. I ordered a quesadilla, and sorry, I'm eating you guys right now. Um, yeah. Rest in peace. Japanese hooters was a fun experience. What did you think about it? It was good. 10 out of 10. I'll leave a good Yelp review. He's making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so something crazy just happened. Me and Bianca were literally just talking about how modeling agencies will just find you in the city. They'll literally just find you out in the crowd and just pick you out and ask you to model and stuff like that. And then I was like, alright, let's walk around after we eat and we'll see what happens. Literally, it just happened. This modeling agency just came up to me. They gave me a business card. They told me to like sign this thing. Took a picture of me. Asked for my Instagram. I plugged my YouTube. So got like three extra quesadillas. So it's lit. But yeah, that's cool. I'm going to be a model. Now. Yay. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom right now, right? I just want to show y'all how nice a Japanese bathroom is. First of all, this is a public restroom. Look how clean this toilet is. These are all the buttons. You can spray your butt. You can spray your front butt. You can adjust the pressure. You can adjust the volume. They got this all in braille. You can flush. You can light flush. You can have a baby here watching you have a food baby. You got a nice sensor trash can. There you go. There's some high-tech toilet paper, some high-tech toilet seat cleaner. There's some high-tech auto foam soap dispenserator. Oh, whoops. Whoop, oh, I, uh, I guess I meant to do that, but like, sorry. Uh, anyway, okay, uh, they got a high-tech sprayer thing. They got a high-tech sink. Boom. Oh, what the fuck? In conclusion, Japanese bathrooms are real nice. Look at these Japanese fish. These are called chink fish. That's Asian dory. Chink dory. <laughs> Okay, so we just walked down from Shibuya to Harajuku, right? You guys recognize this? This is Takeshita Street right here. Holy sh! You guys saw how crowded this was like a couple vlogs ago, right? It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. There's no one here. The family mart's open. This is crazy. The road looks so small now. There's no one here. I just want to run through it. I'm freaking running. I'm freaking running. Oh, wait. I ran really far. Damn. She's like way over there. I got way too hype. Look at those sexy mannequins, though. This is Harajuku at night, ladies and gentlemen. This is low-key scary, not even gonna lie. Like, when I was running down this road, it was kind of scary. We stayed out, like, really late, and so the trains turned off. That's why we went to Harajuku, because that's on the way home. Now, we finally made it to Shinjuku. Isn't that crazy? We literally walked from Shibuya to Harajuku to Shinjuku. We just walked that shit. Could you do that in America? Could you just walk from, like, LA to New York? Like, no, you can't. That's not a thing. In Japan, that's a thing. That's so cool. Alright, so basically the morning now. Azusa went back to her hotel. Oh yeah, Bianca, but her Japanese name is Azusa. I walked her all the way from Shibuya to her hotel in like north of Shinjuku. So it was a pretty long ass walk. There was no trains or nothing. Taxis are as expensive as Soapland. So yeah, not gonna spend money on that. Legs are cheaper, so we just walked. I dropped her off at around 3. The train doesn't start till 5, so I've just been kind of chilling, walking around. I got some ramen. It was pretty good. Just bought some milk tea. Ramen and milk 
milk tea. That's my. Ah! That's what keeps me going. In Colorado, it was, you know, Colorado people know what I'm saying, but uh, here, ramen and milk tea, that's the go-to. But yeah, I've just been chilling for the past two hours, waiting for the train to start again, because my house is like, it's a long ass walk. It would take hours. So yeah, I was just waiting for the train. I just talked to people on the streets and just kind of walked around, chilled. It's basically morning now. Tonight was definitely an adventure. It was fun though. Now I'm gonna catch the train back home. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know where the train station is, so uh, K is lost again. Nothing new. I really don't know where it is. I gotta find it. I'm gonna ask someone. One. But yeah, it was a chill day. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog though. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like red. Yeah, I like the color red. Cool. See you guys in the next vlog. Shall we? Yeah.